Hey everyone, this is Mad Black, the most dangerous and the most toxic black man on the internet, and I am black up in your face again with some more pro-black commentary. So I don't know if any of you have been paying attention to some of the international news that has been going on, but Iran shot some missiles over at Israel, and from what I understand, Israel, with the help of the United States, was able to block a lot of those missiles and drones that Iran shot at them. But, you know, it, it, it's a really touchy situation when something like that happens because that's that just brings us closer to possible World War III-like conditions. Okay, it doesn't take much to set it off. And, if, and from what most analysts say, if there is going to be a World War III, it's going to be that area that's going to set it off. So... The reason that Iran shot those missiles at Israel is because they hold Israel responsible for blowing up uh, Iranian consulate, I believe it is. And, you know, when their building was blown up, they, they say it was rogue factions from Israel. So I don't know if it was some sort of proxy army that Israel set up through the Mossad or if there are Israelis directly tied to it, I don't know. But Iran holds Israel responsible, and they want their get back, and so that's why they shot the missiles. So it, it was, it's an, it was an amazing thing to see. By the way, you know, people caught the, the missiles and drones flying on camera with their camera phones. I don't know why you would sit there and be recording that. I'm not trying to record bombs flying through the air. I'm trying to get to somewhere safe because the bomb. Even if it's deflected, the debris from the bomb could, could fall down and possibly catch you on fire or crush you or whatever. You know, you never know. But what was very interesting to me was the uh, the Iranian people and their parliament, you know, they were all in celebration as these missiles are literally flying towards Israel. Like, so... You know, this could be propaganda, but this is what Iran is putting out there, is that their people were united in the idea of sending bombs over there to Israel. And whether they got through or not was not the, that was not the goal for them, really. The, the goal was basically a message saying that you can be touched too. And we want, and we want to make sure we get our get back, back, right? They, they're basically letting you know that you can't just attack our consulates, you can't just attack our people and get away with it. We will strike back. And that was a message not just for Israel, but other people in the area, and even a message to the United States. So Iran was basically letting people know that they're not soft, basically. If, if you want to look at it in, you know, on the block terms of it, you know, they, these guys had to get their get back. And it wasn't even so much the fact that the, the, some of the missiles got blocked. It was just like, we're letting you know that we will come and shoot. And, and you know, they said we consider the matter settled at this point, but don't get cute with any more nonsense, right? So so that's what's been going on over there at this point and right now. And once again, like I said, it, it, it does set off some implications as to what could happen in that area and how we could get involved with it because... You know, the United States is always committed to helping Israel, you know, because we, we got to have that little base over there of loyal followers to NATO. So they, they, NATO and the United States are just going to go ahead and support Israel no matter what they do. Even if they start the mess, the United States is committed to Israel. And, you know, tax time just went by. You know, we just had the tax deadline, April 15th. So guess where some of your tax money is going to? That's right. You know, you think that your tax is going to be used to fix your streets after that, that big winter freeze that we all had throughout the United States? Nope. You think those tax dollars are going to go to helping you out at the gas pump this summer? Nope. You think some of that, that tax money is going to help you out? with your family, with your kids schooling, or lowering your debt or whatever. Nope. That tax money is going over there to Israel, the biggest welfare mama on earth. 
That's right. I said that. You know, everyone makes it seem like black people abuse the system and we're getting all types of welfare. These immigrants and the Israeli government are getting way more welfare than, you know, your average hood rat could ever get. Right. They're doing way better than getting just Section 8 and food stamps. They're getting weaponry. They're getting missiles. They're getting straight up cash money. But the United States can't give black people reparations, of course, right? Uh, you know, because we were, uh, we were, us black people nowadays were never slaves, and the white people nowadays never owned slaves, right? So they, we can't get reparations for that. But we have nothing to do with whatever's going on there in Israel right now. We're not blowing up other people's consulates and, and parliament buildings. We're not killing other people's citizens and stuff. But when Israel goes out there and does something, we have to go over there to defend them. And we also have to give up money to help their little country over there. Right. So it's 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 a mess, as it always is in that area. Once again, I talked about this before. That entire area has been prone to conflict since people got there. You know, Iran is not necessarily, that's the new name for it. It was Persia at one point. So, you know, all that area was very much a conflict-prone area with people who have ideals and love of conquest, okay? And we're just in the modern version of that political game right now. but. You know, I, I thought it was very interesting that they brought out or, you know, Joe Biden brought himself out to talk to some of his military advisors and people in his cabinet saying how committed we are to helping Israel. They literally dusted off his corpse and got him to, you know, openly proclaim his commitment to helping Israel. What was funny to me about it is that Joe Biden basically seems like he's dead already. Except, apparently, when he's talking about some sort of conflict or basically telling black people what we can't have from the United States government. So when he's telling off black people and when he's talking about killing and war and stuff like that, then he seems to become animated again. You know, it's very interesting as to what energizes this uh, this humunculus, this, this golem of a president that we have right now. So you folks can let me know what you think about it in the comments section. I very much like to hear your opinions as to what is going on in Israel and Iran. I don't know if you've even been following it because there's so much nonsense put out on American television as a distraction. Most people aren't even thinking about that, right? Most people are thinking about basketball games and, and, and girls basketball, who's the most popular, uh, nonsense about uh, these these moronic, no talent ass rappers about who's beefing with who. There's a bunch of nonsense going on right now. And meanwhile, there's countries actually shooting missiles at each other. And you can watch the footage online right now. That's how I saw it. I saw uh, a news clip of the, the the rockets firing, and the people in Iran celebrating as the rockets were firing. That it it was almost kind of inspiring in that regard. I'm not. Don't hope I didn't set off any bells at Homeland Security. But what I'm saying is I'm not a supporter of Iran. I'm just saying that just seeing a group of people united and wanting to fight back, I can appreciate that. I wish black people had that same sentiment, you know, and not always wanting to. We're always together when it comes to being kumbaya. But when it comes time to uh, drop bombs on these fools who attack us, then all of a sudden you got Negroes running for the hills or wanting to forgive and all this other nonsense. And it's just, you know, it was nice seeing a group of people united and wanting to fight back against their enemies. OK, so I'm not praising Iran. I'm not a Persian file or whatever, even though I do know some people from there. But I'm just letting you know how I felt about how the image of that situation Anyway, folks, let me know what you think about it in the comments section. I very much like to hear your opinions on it. Anyway, this is Mad Black, and I will be back with my foot on the devil's back.